Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Love. So if you're new here, I'm Love. I post videos about Canada immigration visa application and I also share all the important updates coming from Canada so that it can help you out and I share all the information possible. I will also be sharing my journey to Canada as a student and will be sharing a lot more, lot more informative videos every week. So if you're new, do subscribe and be a part of my journey. In today's video, I will be talking about something really important and something that I don't think anyone has shared so far. So basically, in this video, I will be sharing exactly what will happen step by step and what will happen basically in case your on arrival COVID test in Canada comes out to be positive. So if you don't know, you'll have to do the three day hotel quarantine. And to do that, you'll first need to get an on arrival COVID test uh, at the airport in Canada, wherever you land. And then you need to do a three day hotel quarantine uh, while you wait for your COVID test result. If your test results comes negative, then you can go out and do your remaining 11 days and then you're free to go out. But in case if your on arrival COVID test comes out to be positive, then what exactly will happen with you? Who will call you? Who will contact you? Where will they take you? Will they take you to a government designated facility? Yes, but what is it exactly? and how much will you have to pay what will the experience be so in this video i will be covering all of these answers so unfortunately a friend of mine who recently traveled to canada got his on arrival test positive and he shared his entire experience with me on instagram so i will actually be showing you his dms his messages as a proof too so you guys can uh, be sure that yes this will happen to you and you can expect this in case your test comes out to be positive so without wasting any time let's just go ahead and i'll show you the messages or what he said and let's begin so as you can see on the left side, you would be able to see his messages. So as you can see, he texted me, Hey, I reached Toronto, but got my COVID report from the Toronto airport positive. My hotel is saying that the government officials will pick me up and I wanted to know what will they charge me and where will they take me. So unfortunately, at that time, I didn't have enough information about it. So I only gave him the information that I had, but I did tell him to share his experience with me so I can share it with you guys what will happen. So after that, he did share his entire experience. So let's go ahead and look at that. So he told me, hey, in a few days, after a few days, he texted me, hey, I reached the federal government quarantine facility and it's free. So something good happened. So yes, it is a very good news for anyone who might get a COVID positive report when they arrive in Canada. The designated quarantine facility will be free of cost. So that is one of the greatest news and the most uh, happiest news that could be for the travelers who might face a positive report on their on arrival test so you won't have to worry about the charges that you would be paying for the designated government facilities and uh, i texted him so as you can see hey that's really good to hear i hope you get better soon and i asked him other questions like what happened did you did an ambulance came to pick you up how many guys came to pick you up what did they tell you for how many days and so on and uh, he as you can see he responded so they basically sent him a mini bus like a shuttle to pick him up and there were two guys one was the driver the other one was the helper so total two people came and he said that now i will be required to isolate for 14 days so even after three days if your test result comes positive you would have to do another 14 days in the designated quarantine facility but it will be free of cost and after that he said that another test would be conducted after 14 days from the first test which happens at the airport so in total after 14 days after arrival you will have to go through another covid test and he said the place is perfectly fine and similar to the three day mandatory quarantine hotel so it will be like that so similar to like that and i asked him oh that's that's actually great and i asked him if everything is included like food and everything and if he could share the name but unfortunately it's it is a con it is some confidential information so he didn't share it and i can't share it with you guys because he personally told me to not share it so he did mention that it will be near the airport and you can actually see the airplanes from the windows the food is inc included and it is pretty good he said that getting some same quality food as he was getting in the hotel for three day hotel quarantine and uh, he did share the name but i can't share it with you because he mentioned it is confidential and he said after 14 days i asked him if he if he'll be good to go to his college or would he still have to do another 14 day of quarantine after he comes out of this designated quarantine facility so and i even asked him like would did you only pay for the three nights and would you and do you not have to pay for any more days so he did mention that yes he only paid for three nights and after the 14 days it isn't confirmed yet and he told me he'll update me when the confirmation comes so he did update me today about it so make sure to stay tuned and stick to the end as I will be telling you what will happen after those 14 days. So I said, sounds good. Uh, thanks for sharing your experience. I'll be missed posting a video about it. It took me a little time. Sorry about that. I got busy in my classes. So this video came out a little later. 
and then uh, he texted me he actually dm'd me today saying hello today i talked with the quarantine officer and she said that i would be able to leave completely after 14 days from my test one at the airport so when they do another test uh, for him after 14 days and if that test results comes out to be negative he will be free to go he won't have to do any more quarantine and basically he saved the money for remaining 11 days but that doesn't mean you guys uh, stop being precautious or anything or anything like that uh, make sure to make sure that you're safe and that you follow all the precautions and basically to go conclude it uh, so after if your test result comes positive yes you would be moved to a designated quarantine facility which will be most likely free of cost like you mentioned yes it will be free of cost and uh, it will be similar to a hotel like the three-day hotel quarantine and uh, the officers the health canada officers will be calling you every day and will be keeping an eye on you and you will have to go through another covid test at the 14th day and if that test comes out to be negative then yes you would be free to go wherever you want and you won't have to quarantine anymore so that was all about what is going to happen exactly if your on arrival test comes out to be positive it will be a short video but it will it, it has covered the most important question that almost all every everyone has in their mind and the, the fear that everyone has in their mind so guys i do hope you find this video useful helpful it clarified your question about the covid testing and what will happen if your test comes out to be positive so if you found it useful and helpful guys please do leave a like uh, to the video do subscribe be a part of my channel i will make sure to continue sharing more and more informative videos every week and almost every day and as always guys i'll see you in the next video do drop down a comment if you have any questions regarding this or anything in general and i'll make sure to get back to all of you as always i'll see you guys in the next video bye take care